What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video, we will be pulling Sacred Shards, as well as pulling Soul Stones. So, let's do this. Alright, so we have two events going on today. We have an extra legendary event for Sacred Shards, and we also have a soul chase tournament which is better than the soul rush tournament soul chase gives you a chance to get more points if you're a free-to-play player uh, just in general because the soul rush requires you to pull eternals which are like 500 points each immortals are like 100 points and then the mortals are like one point each something like that or 10 points each so compared to soul chase soul chase if you pull a specific rarity and a rank that's where your points are coming from so with mortals if you have a ton of them stockpiled and you pull like 50 60 of them you might have a chance to get a void or you might have a chance to even get a mythical if you get really lucky but you also have a chance to get not much at all right you could get a bunch of rares and only get the first two my recommendations always is that you go for at least the first two 150 gems and 300 energy is massive during any fusion or fragment summon champion so you're definitely going to want to go for at least the first two spots here if you can get it if you can only go for the first spot it's only 50 points so more than likely with like maybe 10 or 20 mortal soul stones you're probably going to get the energy okay you're just you're probably going to get it which is awesome it's almost like a gimme so this is great during a fusion when you need that little bit of energy for dungeon divers for what's going on right now, Ice Golem, and you know other dungeons that go on throughout the entire fusion. So we're going to be going with our Soul Stones first. So how many am I going to pull? I think I'm going to pull at least 30 and then check in. So this is my free-to-play account. I've got 130 Soul Stones mortals got five immortals which i don't think i'm going to pull my immortals i might just save those for future reference and then i've got 1900 soul coins so i can definitely save those i'm going to save up my soul coins going forward with the gold soul coins immortal soul coins actually is that what they're called so that way i can determine do i want to use those soul coins on essence or do i want to transfer those and create immortal soul stones so Let's do this. We're not going to talk too much further here. We're going to do some 10 pulls. Here's my wish list. I've got Sun Wukong, Samsung, Rodos, and then here are the epics that I have going on, and then my rares as well. So let's do this. Here we go. Hopefully, we can get a new legendary on the account. That's what we're hoping for. We got an epic. Trumbor is actually a decent epic for that faction. Wuji, okay, legendary. Leorius, which I don't have a Leorius on the account. That'll take a while for me to even get. So let's keep going. It's a, it's a one star, so nothing crazy. You don't usually get really high stars here. One star husk, which I think I already have like a two star on both of them, but I'll double check. Another mythical, Galathir two star. Really, wow. They really want us to, to pay for those primals, man. I have so many. I think I have every single mythical at this point. That's crazy. Let's take a peek how many points we're at. That's 20 so far pulled. We're at 2,300 in the immortal coins, which is nice. And just to take a look at my soul collection. So we've got, yeah, I think that's, I think I'm just missing like two of them, maybe three. But essentially I've got all of them now and a six star on this dude, which is 2,000 points if I wanted to sell it, but I'm going to keep it because, you know, the chances of getting that is really slim. So if I ever did pull him, then I'd have a six star waiting for him. Trumbor was new. There's actually quite a few new ones, which is nice. Runekeeper, I already have a five star on him, I believe, or a four star. So I can get rid of this Runekeeper, and I don't really care about a second one. Also, actually, now that I remember it, we have missions going on. So I need to earn 240 immortal soul coins from selling souls from your soul collection. So I will be selling souls. I might even pull an additional like 20 uh, immortals, or rather mortals, to get more of the coins to beat this mission. So let's see where we're at. We might even be done already, technically. The first two? No, not quite. Okay. Way lower than I expected. I figured that uh, Mythical would have given more points. Two-star Mythical was only 40. 
Yeah, so you have to get the higher ones. You have to get the high level ranks. So that kind of stinks, but let's keep going here. We should be able to get it within 30 though, if we're lucky. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Another wishless husk, one star. We're looking for six star husk or five star. Anchorite, one star. Lockwain. Man, okay. 33, so that'll bring us to what? I think we're at 110 or so. Let's see where we're at now. I think we're just barely before it. Yeah, we're at like 140 something. It didn't actually register yet, so 33, we're at 145. So let's do another. I guess we'll do two more 10 pulls. Let's do it. I'm going to actually make some space first so I can sell this stuff. So I don't need these one stars and two stars. I could care less. Even the three stars, whatever. They're just too low. It needs to be higher awakenings for the rares. They're just not strong enough. So we already got 114 immortal coins from that. I think, let me just double check the awakening here. Yeah, I've already got high level awakenings on my husk. Both of my husks. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to get rid of these two husk. Um, marksman. I mean, I'm going to get rid of that. He's pretty trash. On I mean, has anybody built a marksman? Let me know in the comments down below. And did you put an awakening on him? So I'm going to get rid of my one star marksman. Not really too fussed about it. Going to get rid of her. And I think that should do it for the mission. Maybe not. Literally six more coins away. That's pretty crazy. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and do a 110 pull here, and then we should be done. So, Legendary, please be something that we own. Chances are extremely slim, but can we get lucky here? Another Wooji. Come on. Wishlist. A Necrit again. I already have Necrit as a soul. Wow. I just keep pulling things that I don't own. It's kind of frustrating. So now I have two Necrits here. A two star and a three star. Yeah, that stinks. Another Wuji. Other duplicates. An Azor. One star, two star, three star. Meh. Nothing crazy. All right, so we beat this mission. We're going to get another 120 immortal coins, which is nice. So now we have three immortals, or we could literally transition that into 63 essence. I'm going to go ahead and just save them for now and determine what I want to do in the future, especially if there's like a Titan event or a path event, something like that. So there you go. We ended up getting the first two. I never get lucky with my immortal soul stones. Uh, immortals, I do get lucky, but mortals, not so much. I'm not going to keep pulling, though, just because I want to save them for events you know, in the future, especially if they go during a hero's path or a Titan event. So, but this is fine with me right here. Hold on to the energy for now. Let's go over to the sacred shards. So to, uh, one plus one event, it's not two X. There's no 10 X, no progressive going on. So you really should only be pulling these. If you truly want a one plus one, honestly, you should be saving. You should be saving these because of the fusion that's going on right now. For summon rush if you only have a few sacreds that's it you you only want to pull these if you're really close to mercy i for one am not close to mercy i've only pulled five sacreds since the last time i pulled sacred shards and i've been stockpiling my sacreds i even skipped i think the previous one plus one if i can remember correctly but we could get lucky we could get lucky and pull one and get a legendary that would be the best odds ever but of course likely that won't happen i might have to go 10 deep just to get one also, to keep in mind that if I do this, if there's like a Titans event or if there's a path event or some type of crazy path event with a, a legendary champion and a five star soul and it requires you to pull sacreds, then I would miss out on that because usually you have to pull like 20 sacreds to get the legendary champion as well as that champion soul. So yeah, this could be a big gamble for me or it could be a big win in case I get like a Harima or other crazy champion. Right now I'm looking for Harima or Kaimar. I'm also looking for other really strong champs like a secondary newt or duplicates. 
So let's do this. We're going to start pulling. Wish me luck. Good luck if you guys are pulling today as well. Here we go. Hopefully it's just one and done. Nope. <laughs> of course we want epics as well to empower epics. So that'll be number six. Sacreds pulled. No legendary. Here we go. Another epic. Seven pulled. Grimskin. Meh. He's okay. Nothing. He's not the greatest champion, but he's all right. Three epics. Pestilus. Again, another kind of meh champion. He's okay. Nothing crazy. Again, he only has an HP burn here and a fill turn meter. And then accuracy in Doom Tower, which I think this is so weird that it's in Doom Tower. And he doesn't even grant an extra turn on this ability. He just places it on all allies with no extra turn. So I'm not a huge fan of this champion. Come on. I'm willing to pull 10. Okay, another one. Taragi is actually super powerful. Okay, this guy I would consider empowering as well. Super good clan boss champion. Taragi the Frog is a monster. Also, ally resistance in all battles. Super good for the Shadowkin faction as well. Here we go. Come on, please. Let it be just five pulls. Oh my gosh. Okay, another Ugo. Okay, it's like my fourth Ugo. I'm definitely going to empower her. Highly recommend empowering her for Hydra Nightmare or Hydra Brutal. I have two Ugos built, and yeah, empowering her is going to be awesome. Here we go. Here we go. See what we get. Something good. Another epic. Holy moly. So we've pulled six so far. We're net down to 16. So we are 11 sacreds in. Yikes. See, this is what happens. You know, you can get really lucky or really unlucky. Come on, give it to me right here, please. Oh my gosh, another Tashada. I mean, there's a lot of food champions here for the next champ training, but this isn't what I was hoping for. We still have the Summon Rush, so yikes. I'm only going to go down to 12. I mean, I could end up going so many shards here. Oh man, this is not good. Masamoto, he's a decent champion for the Shadowkin. I'm down to 14. I pulled 8 Sacreds. Holy crap, so I'm now at 13 Sacreds into pulling and let's just take a look at these sacreds right here it says mercy system sacreds after 12 summons you get plus two percent increased chance so we're at six now we're at ten percent chance to pull a legendary come on please just give it to me right here don't keep going now we're at 12 percent um malekith blood flock stealing random buff Increase or decrease the duration of all enemy buffs by one. Also, chance of increase in duration of all ally buffs books out to 100%. That's pretty good. Revives two random allies. Okay, for Knight's Rev for an epic, that's strong. Places a shield buff on all revived allies for two turns equal to 30% of his max HP. Holy crap, that's strong. Increase ally accuracy and faction crypts. This dude's a beast. I do have him, I just haven't built him because he's a, a newer champion, if I'm not mistaken. So we are now, this will be what, 15 in? 16 in? This is crazy. Now I feel like I have to go for it. This is absolutely crazy. I just pulled 10 shards. So now we're at 15 in for sacreds. Craziness. This is the most unlucky I've been for a one plus one. I'm just going to go all in. I'm going all in guys. 16 shards will be 17 absolute insanity 17 shards oh my god i don't recommend this is why i don't recommend pulling one plus ones 18 shards come on game come on game seriously and, and i ran out of space here holy crap this is what happens guys this is the reality this is really 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 bad 22 sacreds down to nine i've been saving sacreds for months let's make some quick space and i'll be right back all right, we're back. Please just give it to me. Come on. We went from 22 to 9, which is insane. That's 13 sacreds pulled. We are up to 18 sacreds with no legendary, which puts us at what? Plus 2% per shard after 12, which is 6%. I mean, we're at almost 20% chance to pull legendary here. Come on. Come on. This is insane, guys. I'm going to go through all my sacreds. Are you kidding me right now? 
This is actually super frustrating. And I'm still not pulling. A Mirag's great for uh, empowerment. This is the most craziest unluckiness I've ever faced, ever. Oh my god, Dirindil's also a strong hitter. Holy crap. 22 to 6. 22 to 6. This is the worst pull session I've ever had. Oh my gosh. It could end up turning into the best, but only if I get Harima. This is not good. That's 14. 16 shards pulled. That's in total. I'm at 21 sacreds. This is the highest I've ever been into my pity tracker. 21 sacreds in. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, please. Give it to me. Thank you, God. It's a Vizier. Okay, that's good. I do have a six-star soul waiting for him. Come on, please let it be Harima. Baron, uh, Septimus. Kind of looks like Baron a little bit. Um, they're both new champions. They're both new. Oh, man. 17 shards. 17 shards, which was, what, 22? 22 shards before my mercy kicked in. That's extremely unlucky. Now I only have five sacreds. So this is why I recommend people not pulling during one plus ones because you could be so unlucky like that and just not get what you need. You should pull when you're closer to mercy. Like I should have just skipped it, but I wanted a double Lego. I did get a brand new champion, two brand new champions. My Septimus, who is an old but gold champion. He's definitely one of the better dungeon running champions for stage 20 he can nuke down the spider with one hit which is cool but i don't really need him anymore i just use i farm food now on stage 20 of spider so i don't even need septimus and then i mean i'll, I'll figure out something to do with him vizier finally got super strong for clam boss triple hit each hit increases the duration of all boss by one one enemy two times each hit chance of placing block buffs 50% decrease attack and a heal reduction this guy's actually super strong if you can use him for amius and i'll have a six star awakening on him which is nice attacks one enemy applies debuff spread effect taking two random debuffs from the target and placing on all enemies also strong for li live arena or arena more for classic arena because he can spread the bombs on everybody and places a perfect veil on himself for three turns of the target has two or more debuffs. And then places a perfect veil on this champion for two turns at the start of each round with uh, increased attack in dungeons. He's a pretty strong champion. Nothing crazy. He doesn't have an AoE. He's decent for bosses. Especially for the clam boss. So not a bad champion, but not someone I really need. Oh, Malkith, that's the first time I pulled him. I thought I already had him. Maybe I have him on my pay to win account. So on the free to play, he's brand new. So that's pretty cool. I will build a Malkith. So I now pulled all, oh, besides Kytus. I still haven't pulled a Kytus yet on this account, but everything else I have pulled for epics. So yeah, that's a little frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. A soul chase, oh, that's just the energy. So that's whatever. I wish there was a coinciding summon rush or something like that that would have been pretty cool um let's go here and awaken my vizier oh well, i can't i have to upgrade him to max still so i do have a six star vizier here waiting i've been saving that for a long time in case i ever pulled him and there you go i finally pulled him morag we can upgrade her so that's fine and then yeah i mean <laughs> it is what it is i can empower as well let's just focus on the epics here especially morag Let's see if I can type her name. So I do have two more eggs. I mean, if you're going to be saving more eggs, you want to save them for the Cursed City. I do recommend saving two of them if you can. So I'm going to save two. I only have two. So I'm not going to empower her at this time. I'll just save them and then go from there. But yeah, that's crazy. 22 sacreds all the way down to five. We had to pull 17 just to get a legendary, two legendaries. Was it worth it? Do you think it was worth it? And uh, let this be a lesson learned to all of you if you go ahead and decide to pull on a one plus one event. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck if you are pulling and I'll see you guys on a video soon.
Take care.